Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College. Today we're going to do factoring by grouping. And of course, we need Charlie to make sure he's ready to go. He better be ready. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Oh, yeah. You better be. Today we're doing factoring by grouping. All right. That's right. Now, that doesn't mean that you get to work in groups oh. to do your factoring oh. during the exam. Oh. Not my class. Okay. But you are allowed to cheat when you do factoring by grouping. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute here. Okay, let's get to work. Let's list our first problem right there. We have x squared plus 3x subtract 2x subtract 6. Factoring by grouping requires that you form two groups. So we'll go ahead and form two groups right there. Okay. And now, Charlie, here we go. What we're going to do is we need to take the greatest common factor out of each group. So, Charlie. What's the greatest common factor for that first group up there? X. It's an X. Very good. You must have paid attention to that greatest common factor video. That's yeah. good. Okay, now what we're going to do, okay, we bring down our X. Let's bring our parentheses now. Charlie, what do I multiply the X by to get that X squared in the first group? X. That's an X. Very nice. Okay, now what do I multiply the X by to get that plus 3X? Plus 3. It is a plus 3. There you go. So, let's, let me show you what Charlie just did. He took x times x to give him the x squared, and the x times 3 to give him the 3x there. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next group. And here's where you can cheat. This is the only time you can cheat in a mathematics course. What we're going to do here is we're going to take that x plus 3, and we know by factory by grouping, that that x plus 3 is going to show up in this second group. So we'll go ahead and list it over there. Now, this makes it a little bit easier to see what the greatest common factor is for the second group. So Charlie, what is it? What is the greatest common factor for the second group? Basically, what makes that second group work here? What do you distribute through? Oh, I think it's a negative 2. That's right, it is a negative 2. Oh, wow. Let's see what Charlie did here. He took the negative 2 and distribute it to the x, which gives them the uh, negative 2x, and negative 2 times the positive 3 is the negative 6. Very nice. Okay, now, here we go. We look at our two groups again. Now, if you remember, when we multiplied uh, binomial polynomials together, we took the first term and we distributed to each term. But now what we're going to do is we're going to work in reverse. And now maybe this will give you a better understanding of why I was doing the multiplying binomials in that way. Because here it comes. Notice here that the x plus 3 is showing up in each term. And so we're going to take those x plus 3's out. And if you look at this, if you pay attention to that multiplying polynomials, you'll see that when you take the x plus 3 out, you're left with an x subtract 2. So let me go ahead and show you this using the computer program here. We'll take the x plus 3 out there. Ooh. There it is, the x plus 3. It's out in front. And you see you're left over with that x subtract 2. Okay, so notice when you took those x plus 3's out, okay, there they are shaded. Notice the x is right there, comes down, and the negative 2 comes down. That's what's left over when you take out that x plus 3. Okay? Now, so let's go on. Let's bring down our x plus 3 right there and notice we have the x subtract 2 so we'll bring that down and that gives us our answer right there don't forget to box your answer there you go you're doing factoring by grouping oh what fun let's do another one here we go now what we have is x squared subtract 2x subtract 8x plus 16 same process again we're going to form two groups okay and Charlie, what's the greatest common factor for the first group? X. That's right, it's an X, and so bring down a parenthesis here. Now, what do I multiply X by to get that X squared, Charlie? X. X, that's pretty simple, okay. Now, what do I multiply the X by to get the negative 2X? Negative 2. A negative 2, there you go. Now, let's review what Charlie said. He said X times X is X squared. And the x times the negative 2 is the negative 2x there. Okay, now, here comes Charlie's favorite step. What is it, Charlie? G. G. That's right. Okay, we'll go ahead and let's put the x minus 2 there for the second group. Now, Charlie, what's the greatest common factor for the second group? Bust a move. Negative 8. That's right, Charlie. It is a 
negative 8. Now, here's where Charlie found that it was a negative 8 because if you take the negative 8 times the x, you'll get the negative 8x, and the negative 8 times the negative 2 is the positive 16. There you go. All right, so let's go on here. Okay, let's. what we're going to do here is, again, look at our groups, and notice the x subtract 2 is there, and so we're going to take that x subtract 2 out. Remember, we're doing the reverse of multiplying polynomials. We're going to take that x minus 2 back to the front. And when we do that, watch what happens here. Okay, take it out. There it is in front. Now notice what's left over. It's the x subtract 8. You got that, Charlie? Yeah. Yeah, you better. <laughs> anyway, he's got that down. So again, let's look at this again. We shade the x minus 2s. So when we took those out, realized that we had the x and the negative 8, and so we brought those down to show that they are still there. And so now we're going to go ahead and bring down our x, subtract 2, and then finally bring down our x, subtract 8, and there's your answer. Don't forget to box it. Oh, what fun. Let's do another one. Okay, this time we'll step it up a bit for Charlie. Okay. Just relax. Same procedure again. The first thing you do is what, Charlie? Groups. Form two groups. Okay. Now, Charlie, think about this. What's the greatest common factor for that first group? X. Okay. It is only an X, right? You can't take out anything from the 8 and the 3 because that doesn't have those don't have any common factors. Okay? Other than one. And remember, we were limited to the smallest, the 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 uh, term that had the least number of X's. And since that 3x only has one x in it, that's all you can take out. That was from the greatest common factor factoring video. So there we go. We take out the x, bring the parentheses down. Okay, Charlie, what do I multiply the x by to get that 8x squared? Be careful. 8x. It is an 8x, right? Because x times 8x is that 8x squared. Okay, Charlie, what do I need to multiply the x by to get that negative 3 up there? Negative 3. That's right, a negative 3, and so here's what Charlie did. x times 8x is the 8x squared, and the x times the negative 3 is the negative 3x. Very nice, Charlie. Now, what's our next step, Charlie? Cheat! That's right, we cheat. Here we go. So we put the 8x minus 3 over there, subtract 3. And now, Charlie, what makes it work? What do we multiply the 8x by to get that negative 32x? Negative 4. It is a negative 4. That's all you need. And so that completes that second group. So now, again, we see that 4 times 8x is the uh, negative 32x, and the uh, negative 4 times the negative 3 is the positive 12. Okay, Charlie, now what we're going to do is, again, look at our two groups, and we're going to take out that 8x minus 3 and yank it out of there. Here we go. So take that 8x minus 3. Here we go. We're going to yank it out here. Okay, there it goes. There it is in front. All right. Now, notice again, we'll shade the 8x minus 3s, and notice what's left over, Charlie. X minus the X subtract 4. Very nice. Okay. So now, let's go ahead and bring out, uh, down our 8x minus 3s, right? There it is. And don't forget, we got the X minus 4s. We need to bring those down. And there is our answer right there. Very nice. Here we go. Don't forget to box your answer. And we'll move on to one more problem here, okay? We'll make it a good one. 